what's up to my favorite bunch of beauties welcome back to my channel this is my makeup basket for the week of august the 13th and i'm gonna jump right in i just finished eating lunch i took a break between my other video and this one because i had to talk on the phone to my son and then i talked on the phone to my sister so i'm back but this is my makeup basket for the week and I am going to jump in to the things that I used last week. And if you caught my live on Thursday, you know that I did a second look with the Mothership 11 Sunlit Seduction Palette. So this one got two uses this week. And I really, I really like the palette. Some of the special shades are, are a little bit difficult to use, but overall it's okay. I do like it. And I had the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Primrose Palette. And I did use that one. That one was nice. As you can tell, it was nice because it has some dents in it. So I have used it a few times. I used the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. And we love a good Natasha Denona Palette. Now, the three MAC palettes that I had for last week, I did not use at all. And these are the Connect in Color palettes. So you have the Future Flame. So this is a Future Flame. The Hi-Fi Color. And that's the artwork on the front. These palettes are... The package is really nice, but those are the shades. And this is the Unfiltered Nudes. And that looks like that. So I did not use the three of those. So I'm going to put these back close to me where I had them before. So I can pull them out again, maybe next week. And I also didn't use this one. The Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes. Did I even mention that I was putting this one in my basket last week? I guess I did, but did not use those. Of course, we used all of the Danessa Myricks. Well, let's not say all because I did not use the, um, which one is it? I did not use the Rosé and Brunch blush. And actually, I'm going to keep this one in my basket so I can use it. Cause I only have like two other blushes in my basket for this week. So that'll be three. Um, so I used the Jubilee Yummy Skin Blush. I really like that one. I used the Yummy Skin Blurring, Blurring Balm Powder in Universal. And I think I'm going to leave this one in my basket as a primer. And I used the Yummy Skin Blurring Bong, Blurring Bong Powder in the shade number 7. I don't generally wear much foundation at work. So I used that one in um, one of my videos for the week. Um, I used the Pansy shade of the Lethal Cosmetics blushes they call these face powders but they are blushes and of course i used my mally the plush pen brightening concealer i am actually now going to give this one a break and put another concealer in there and that is pretty much it for what i used last week one sec i have to grab something else um so for this week, I am going to be using the Uncover Up Cream Foundation from RMS Beauty. And it comes in a jar. And I'm going to be using the Unpowder Tinted Powder. I, I, I feel like I had the concealer for this, but I don't know where it is. I have to look around. Because that kind of bothers me because I kind of enjoyed that concealer. 
Um, I have the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. And this is in the shade 35N. I have to stack these because I'll run out of room. I have for my highlighter the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC in the shade Global Glow. And we'll open that up and show you. Oh, and there's, you know what? Uh, okay. I have as a bronzer the Kosas, the Sun Show bronzer in the shade Paradise. And that looks like that. I have the Glowish Cheeky Vegan Blush Powder in Berry Juicy. And that looks like that. And I have that on today, if you can see it. I have one of my OGs. Um, actually, this, I mean, it's an OG, but this is a relatively new one. Because I lost the old one. And this is the MAC Powder Blush in Raisin. And it looks like that. That one will forever be in my collection. Um, I only have like three MAC lipsticks in here. So probably throughout the week also I'll be throwing on some lip glosses. But the one that I have on today is Soar. And this is one of their mattes. And it looks like that. But this is Soar. And I have Verve. And Verve is more of a sort of reddish brown. And then I have Chili. And this is what Chili looks like. And this is like a replacement for my old Chili because I had that one for a while. Um, of course, my MAC Lip Pencil and Chestnut. Oh, last blush that I have here is also from RMS Beauty and it is the Redimension Hydra Powder Blush and this one is in the shade Sangria. And there is one more sort of deep shade that they have in this line that I, I saw and I liked but I will be getting it once this two month no buy is over. And Oh, so for blushes, I just wanted to kind of show you, but I am not going to be using this these this week. Um, I did go ahead and do it, Dion. I did go ahead and order the face powders from Lethal Cosmetics at the end of July. So they just came, I want to say, sort of midweek last week. And these are like the Build Your Own palettes. So this is what one of them looks like. And this, of course, I'm going to use as a bronzer. I don't know if I'm going to use this as like a blush topper. And of course, this is a blush. I don't know what the names of these are right now. I'm sorry. And then I made another one with like a more of a sort of pinky rosy. Of course, this is a highlighter. These two will be blushes. I couldn't pass those up because those blushes have been out of stock for a minute. So I wanted to go ahead and get them. And last but not least are my eyeshadow palettes for the week. Neither of which I have on my eyes today. Tomorrow I am going to be doing a video that's a collab video. And it will be using some of my current favorites. So you'll see this eye look in that video. But I pulled out... The Nomad Cosmetics Hudson Valley palette and I know it screams fall in the packaging but you can still get a nice summery look out of this and we are in August so I start going towards more fall stuff when August hits I meant to toss that too I don't know why I keep those oh yes I do because I don't know the names of the palettes but this is um, the Night Flower palette from Lethal. And it looks like that. And then I have 
a Pat McGrath palette and this is from her love collection out of the three this is the only one that I don't think I've used but it ain't just him oh. I have seen it oh no oh no I have seen it so many I was watching um, Savannah Silver but I'll go back to her when I'm done um, this one is the Sublime Seduction palette. So this is more of the sort of warm nudes. So I will be using that this week. I pulled out a palette from Ace Beauté. And this is the Envy palette. And it looks like that. I have not used this one yet. So I wanted to give it a try. And then the last palette that I have here is also from Lethal Cosmetics. And this is the Metamorphosis palette, that packaging, and that is what the palette looks like. So that's it. That's sort of a quick makeup basket for me for the week. Trying to get everything in place. Um, yeah, so that is it. Stay tuned for my Monday morning makeup video where I show you the look that I have today and discuss why these products are some of my favorites. And also stay tuned for the video that I have coming up on Thursday as well. That video I believe, cause I have not done it yet, but I think I finally made the decision to do the top five things that I would definitely purchase again. So stay tuned for that one on Thursday. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and don't let your day be a waste of makeup. Bye.